this week I've been binge watching way too many YouTube videos on Chinese cuisine, so I decided to find my own place around me. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you just where. This is super exciting. One of my personal favorite things on the planet is duck. Peking duck is one of these like royal favorites that have just been fantastic for centuries and centuries. Uh, now we're over in uh, Pembroke Pines, a place called Golden Marquee. Now they literally do the Giridon service here table side. So you see that skin of that duck? It's perfectly crispy. The flesh, nice and tender. I haven't even taken a bite yet. And I know how fantastic this thing tastes. It's amazing and it, depending on the day that you catch me, it might be part of my last meal. I absolutely love duck and I love service like this that has a little bit of old school flair to it. This base is fantastic. Everything right down to the little kind of subtleties on the wall kind of transports you to a different place. The chandelier setups and the Lazy Susans which you really don't find in too many places. It's great if you have like a bunch of couples that want to get together on the weekend or something like that because uh, I'm looking at a table right now with about a dozen different seats on it. Now the cool thing about it, you literally order a bunch of stuff everybody gets crazy and then you put it in the center now nobody has to get up to really kind of share any of those items because the centerpiece rotates and everybody kind of gets to pick out what they want they take out the empty stuff and then they put the new stuff on but look at this it doesn't get much better than this thank you so much now we're gonna jump right into it you like some bao buns Ooh, you grab these things boy now all you're basically doing is you're serving yourself so we got a little hoisin sauce here, doll it up. You like some onions, do your thing. Cucumber for freshness, bang. And then what I like is the duck. Now, just so you know, when you come to places like this, you're gonna have the, these options. They're gonna look very enticing, these red chopsticks that are sitting in the center of the Lazy Susan, but these are for sharing. Don't use these yourself and put your spit on it. Literally, leave them in the center, serve yourself how you like, and then put them back so other people could enjoy as well. You have your own personal chopsticks here on the side, and that's a little pro tip for you for the week. This duck, oh, look at this thing. Bam, just make a little top hat out of it. You wanna big boy it? You go two rounds on it, oof. Then you're gonna cl close her up. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I love duck. I love duck. The real key to it, rendering down that fat cap, getting the outside nice and crispy and the inside juicy. And if you get the proper Peking duck, they do it just right. And then you make like this like personal hand food out of it with the bao bun, which is super soft. You get a little bit of sweetness from that hoisin sauce and get a little freshness from the cucumber, a little acidity from that onion. Oh man. I'm gonna take another bite, you ready, Mark? Oh boy, you don't know what you're missing right now. There's a bunch of things that I do enjoy and love, but this might be number one for me. Thank you so much. We got a little lucky Buddha. You wanna be lucky? You get the Buddha on your side. But look at this artwork. Literally, every bottle is etched like this, and it's great. Whenever you're in any Chinese restaurants, this is like one of my go-tos. And it's light, it's delicate, very slammable on a hot summer day. And today it's like close to 90 degrees out. So what do I want? I want something cold. Now, I almost feel bad not drinking it out of this, uh, but you know, I have this nice frosty mug over here. So with that, I'm basically gonna chill it down a little bit more, cause why not? See, when you get your pour down, you want a little bit on that sidewall so it doesn't over foam for you. And you could kind of calculate your foam level right at the top. So if you pour it right in the center, you get a little bit of that head. You're generally looking between one and two fingers. So that's almost perfect. I want it a little bit higher though. So I'm gonna put a little bit more aggressively and just try to get it right over the top there. So it kind of breaks that line, very picturesque. A little lucky Buddha. Baby, it's a good day. 
What you saw earlier was the Duck Giridon Circus. It's a, a nice little show, you know, it's great for a bunch of people that are hanging around the table that, you know, want some theatrics attached to their dining experience. Now, they get out what they can as far as the breast meat's concerned, the skin, some of the legs, but there's a lot of meat left over. And if you ever like roasted a chicken at home, for example, there's different stages of it. And the last stage is basically when you strip all of it and then you're just left with the, the little bits of meat that are kind of in the crevices and attached to like the rib cage and stuff like that. Same thing here. So with those little bits, they basically scrape them as best as they can and then they serve them to you as almost like a second course. So you have little bits of duck mixed in here. And you also have uh, a little bit of soy element, onion, water chestnuts is pretty much the predominant portion which gives it a nice beautiful sweetness. Uh, and then you could kind of do a little healthier version over here. So you get your lettuce cups, you, you stack them up, and then I like to make it not healthy, so I throw on some more of that skin. Ooh, make like a little taco shell out of it. Mmm, totally different. Question of the week time. What's your most memorable tableside experience ever? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Every Sunday, something fantastic. All right, everybody, like always, you keep watching, I'm gonna keep hunting, and I'm gonna see you soon, all right?